Hey guys, Kiguru here, and today I want to talk about Mozilla Firefox 3.1 Beta. Now, I just want to give you my uh, thoughts, a little bit of overview. Not much has, you know, totally changed. It's not like a jump from 2.0 to 3.0, but uh, 3.1 Beta is out. It's not, you know, it's not going to be officially out. I'm not sure the official release date of 3.1. I think right now it's in 3.0.3, but 3.1 is going to show a lot of increases, and I want to talk about it because it has a lot to do with about the whole browser, you know, uh, stuff, you know, situations, uh, stuff like that, you know, the whole battles between Chrome and stuff like that, uh, and I thought it would just be an interesting topic, so, I have 3.1 installed here, this is the beta, no add-ons, nothing, fresh install, I've used it for a couple days now, and I just have the bookmarks, I just squeeze everything on onto the top bar to slim it down, so, um, no add-ons are enabled, some add-ons are add-ons already available for it, but, uh, you know, some of them I just, you know, I just disable them all, so it's a fair, you know, speed test and stuff like that. Uh, now I'm going to pull this document over here. So 3.1, what's new? I want to talk about what's new, uh, some stats, the features, speeds, and thoughts. So obviously going at what's new, this is just centering towards everybody. This is the homepage you get when you get on Firefox 3.1. Uh, and quickly uh, switch tabs and control tab to jump back and forth with a new interface that they added to that. So control tab, as you know, has always been a whole uh, interface with, you know, just switches between your tabs, but when you have three tabs, I believe now, three or more tabs, and you hit control tab, you get this type of interface. Hold it, click it, t click tab to go to the next one, hold it, and just cycle through. And this is going to be nice because you get a visual interface when you have a whole bunch of tabs open, maybe, you know, for, I know a lot of people use a lot of tabs, some people use more than, like, ten, and this is just a little way to get through visually and see what's on each page without actually clicking on the tab. And it works pretty nice, and I'm sure you can, you know, edit stuff like this in about colon config later on. I'm sure there'll be tweaks for it. So that's one thing. You can leave your feedback, and which I'll do when uh, I'm all done with the uh, video and everything. I'll give my general opinions on it. Uh, control the smart bar with location results with special characters. So they've restricted it to, I think, only uh, bookmarks and history now that it takes uh, your data from. Uh, but they've added, you know, new type integer type uh, browsing features, stuff like... Uh, for example, you can do short, you know, you were able to go like G, you know, and they'll find the word as you type it, Google, for example. But now you can type in like, uh, that plus, and then, you know, find another word or whatever, but, uh, so for example, Mozilla plus, and then as I show here, they said E, D. And what it'll do is it will, you know, look for stuff in common that you've searched, and obviously I haven't searched anything, but... Yeah, right here it says restricting Mozilla to tagged pages, then continuing on by looking at the other words. So that plus integer will ask, or that plus will, you know, uh, tag Mozilla as one word, and then it'll look for the next word. So you can easily find stuff. So maybe you went to a site that's under Mozilla, you don't remember, you try to find Mozilla, it's not there. You can add, you know, more searches to make it, you know, all come together. But maybe it was like, you know, maybe it was Mozilla, you know, Thunderbird, so... You couldn't find it within searching Thunderbird or Mozilla because it was some, you know, article off a blog. You can add them together and, you know, maybe it'll be easier for the search engine to find it through Firefox. So they added that. They added uh, some other, you can use, like, at signs. You can use number signs for tags and titles, stuff like that. So they've been working a little bit on the awesome bar. Now, this is really cool. Aug video without need for any plugins, like Flash plugins, stuff like that. You may need that for YouTube, but natively, it has the AUG video and AUG corpus, uh, video and audio codec, so you can get away right away watching your video and uh, audio, you know, stuff like that, so you're right out of the box ready with the browser, and it helps overall loading, you know, videos, stuff like that. I've seen nice increase in videos, uh, not really much lagging Flash. It's just really, really great seamlessly, nice and easy. So, I mean, that's a new YouTube ad that's put up there. It's really been annoying me lately. But anyway, so that's really, really nice. It's uh, without any need for plugins. Obviously, you're going to still may need to install Flash. But, I mean, altogether, it's a nice, great experience. And they did a great job using AUG, Corbis Video, and Audio. Because it's really, uh, AUG is really a good uh, type of codec format. Anyway, drag and drop tabs from one Firefox window to another. We saw this type of, uh, uh, I guess you can say, type of, uh, not really, I guess you uh, what would you call it? feature in uh, Chrome? But uh, you know it doesn't have the total, um, total you know user interface that Chrome has. You know it makes that transparent thing. Just pretty much you just drag it, drop it, just moves it over. So yeah, I mean it's not it's not you know the best interface wise, but really just 
you know, drag it over, drop, if you're more used to that, you know, whole chrome transparent window. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit different, but it does get the job done. I like using single window mode anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But they have stuff for web developers, the Trace Monkey, which I'll talk about, and extension developers. So I was mentioning Trace Monkey. Trace Monkey is what they're using now. Uh, it's the whole new engine for loading JavaScript. Now this not only, you know, makes st stuff like Gmail and all those other JavaScript stuff load really, really much, much more quicker, twice as fast as Firefox, you know, original 3 version was, but it also brings support for, again, it helps out with the video and stuff like that. Uh, there's a great, great video, uh, I think that was like Bar Camp Bangkok, as it was, Thailand, it was made in uh, Bangkok, Thailand. They had a whole uh, conference on, it's like a 13 minute video, I think, on Firefox 3.1, which I'll put the link in the video description. And it explains more about TraceMonkey and how it really helps not only with, you know, the JavaScript, but loading the video, making your video much more seamless. Uh, load great. So, Trace Monkey here, I believe this is smaller. This is a Sun Spider test by Apple. Smaller is better. Vi uh, Vista looks like a MacBook Pro. You see that here, Trace Monkey compared to the V8 engine gets much, much more smaller results along with the XP on a Mini. Now, here's the TM uh, Trace Monkey versus V8 comparison. I think V8 was used by. Uh, I want to say V8 was used by Chrome, but I'm not sure. But I don't know. I heard that Chrome's like developing their own. Uh, JavaScript engines, which will make that faster. So, here's 3D Cube has a whole bunch of tests, and here's uh, the X factor, as they call it, the Sun Spider test ratio, left to right, uh, faster, faster is to the right. So Trace Monkey C is doing much, much more of a better job loading on this stuff. And this article does it goes in depth too. I'll put this in the video description. So Trace Monkey is going to increase loading for JavaScript much more faster. It's a whole new engine, and if you head to a site like Gmail.com. It really does a great job of loading pages. I haven't seen any errors. I mean, it loads Gmail great uh, seamlessly. I mean, I'm going to let that load up here. It, you know, like just everything does, you know, really, really, you see a, a significant increase. Everything loads, you know, right away on Gmail. You can just uh, click and, you know, you're in. Everything's loaded. Everything's great. That's what I really like about this whole new Trace Monkey. Now, uh, in the beta version, Trace Monkey isn't fully enabled, I believe, but, you know, in the full version, you see how quick and responsive the Gmail and, you know, the whole Google Calendar and everything. The whole, you know, uh, page is responsive with Firefox 3.1 beta. So, with that, I'm just going to get that page. So, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so 3.1's been great. Uh, overall, I like the new feature with the Awesome Bar. It's really cool. Uh, the Trace Monkey is really, really cool in cooperation with the Aug Corbis, which I thought was really cool. Uh, I haven't used much of the tab features, but I mean, you know, who knows, maybe people will use the control tab thing, it's a nice little GUI thing. Uh, I think they also added a private browsing option, but I did not try that out yet. But I think that's also, in, will be incorporated private browsing, you know, all the browsers have it now. Uh, incognito mode for Chrome, you know, just all that stuff. So yeah, um, anyway, um, that's my initial thoughts, it's a really great browser, you can download it, I believe, off Mozilla's site. The Trace Monkey JavaScript engine much much faster uh, brings a lot of stuff load up faster so much more faster Firefox much more stable Firefox uh, seamless video and audio really really great guys so uh, yeah guys uh, that's my thought on my thoughts on Firefox 3.1 beta hope you enjoy uh, go ahead and feel free to download it yourself and you know give your thoughts on it be happy to see video response text or comment. Or email me, adrianstech at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out our sites at adrianstech.com, uh, techgeek.com, and weurl.com. Thanks for listening, guys. I will catch you next video.